window. Hey, Captain Holt. Long time no see. How you doing? This is not the time, Peralta. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Ah, I've missed us. He's here. He's here. Jake's here. Okay, let's do the prank where we don't even acknowledge him when he comes in, okay? Shh, shh, shh. Everyone, shh. Back of the 9 9. Woo! <laughs> Jake, 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 Jake! Late to perfection, Charles. I miss my mommy. This is boring. Captain's not here, Sarge. You can drop the act. You can drop your butt. You can drop your butt. It's okay. I got this. How about we finish building this tower? The structure's done, but we've barely started on the landscaping. I want to build a spaceship! <laughs> I worked so hard on that. There were stables. These toys suck. OK. Then I'll get you some better toys, Timmy. Jump, Timmy, jump. Now you're having fun. Sergeant! Captain, we were just, uh. Timmy was cranky. We're just letting him tire himself out. OK, everybody out. Oh, oh, OK. OK. It's oh. just kind of difficult uh, because of the deflating. Out now. Hey, hey, how'd it go? Is his voice all high-pitched now? What? No, of course not. Of course not. Jay, the doctors made me into a superhero. I'm so strong. And they made me black. He's on a lot of medication. We weren't able to do the procedure. Your friend is so large. That you needed a bigger saw to get through his dingus? No, his body is so physically massive that we didn't have enough anesthesia on hand. He needs a much larger dose. Jake, mm. sometimes I can't tell my twin baby girls apart, so I call them both boo-boo. <laughs> oh, wow. So he has no filter whatsoever? None. I'm going to take you home now, Sarge. Hey, what do you think of Captain Holt? Oh, he needs to smoke some weed. Yes! Thank you, Dr. Penis Off. Ooh, your head is so small. <laughs> yeah, like a... No, 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 it is so small! Where do you keep your brains? <laughs> oh, oh, good. All right, got your PJs on, read you a story, checked under the bed for monsters. Check again. And now it's sleepy time. So here we go, getting on Wait, in. wait, wait. You got to promise me you won't let them give me the operation. I want to have more kids. I don't want the vasectomy. Promise me, tiny head. Promise me. All right, I promise. I promise. Good. Because yeah. I'm not done with my testicles yet. I'm going to let them see. Hey, oh. hey, don't you dare touch Amy Jr. That's right. It's your baby. Are you saying I knocked you up? You sure did. Jake. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure thing. Hold that. Sure. Ah, oh. Look at the view from up here. I didn't know we lived near water. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Yeah! Oh, perfect. I can still win this bet. I can still win. No. 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 Freeze, don't move. Oh, my God. There is a tiny chance I may not win this bet. Talk now. You seem upset. You were behind all this? You played me. Like Franz Blueheim plays the flute. But how? I've been planning this theft for three months. I know, but I've been planning it for a year. Last Halloween, after you won the bet, I went back to my office to do everyone's paperwork, but I did no paperwork. I started to plot my revenge. I began by creating a word cloud. But how could you possibly have known I was going to try and steal your watch? I knew you were trying to take something important to me. During the year, I drew your attention to my watch. 
You're eight minutes late. You're 14 minutes late. You're three minutes early in Chicago. You annoyed me into stealing it. Exactly. Now you had a target, but you needed a plan. Fortunately, it walked through the door, handcuffed to Diaz. Scumbag pickpocket is Dan McCreary. You can take anything off of anyone. Anything? Anyone? The look on your face, priceless. I put McCreary into my employee immediately. Fast forward to this morning. You commenced your plan. McCreary stole my watch and then replaced it with a replica. And while you celebrated, McCreary put my watch back in my pocket. The watch never left my person. Dun, dun, dun. Those guys at the impound, did they really smash my car? No, in fact, I had them wash it. <laughs> Good one, Captain. You can't wash a car. Well, Captain Raymond Holt, you are an amazing police captain slash genius. But be warned, I started planning next year's heist just this minute. Good. Then you're only three months behind. You sick son of a bitch. And if I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in. No, hold your coffee. Pocket donut. No. It's everywhere. Back up. Gina, open up. <sighs> well, luckily I still have a key from when I lived here. Mm. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh my god. god. What is going on? Gina and I are casual lovers. No. Yeah. Ew. How long has this been going on? We hooked up once last summer, and then the nightmare started again about a month ago. Ever since then, it's been orgasm city. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Ugh, gross, right, guys? 901, Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh. She was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself in a bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 AM. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm in too much pain to care how cool and strong that made me look. It was already splintering. Don't take this away from me. Dear Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Group sentiment, very meaningful. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Selfless act. Very respectful. Correct. I am the king of respectfulness, bitches. Hey, did you send that from your personal or work account? Personal. It's a personal matter involving a personal friend and his personal uncle. So you remember to turn off your signature. Hey, Captain, I just sent you an email. Dear I... Captain, we were all so sorry for your loss. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. Sent from my stinky butt. I was hacked? Thank you for the email. It means a lot to me. <sighs> You're very welcome. I was addressing your stinky butt. Good, he's gone. Now let's get serious and focus up. Just trying to get to the printer. I'm just a little on edge because uh, I'm trying to quit smoking. I can't take the stress of hiding it from Teddy anymore. Be right out, Teddy! <laughs> I'm going cold turkey and it makes me Terrifying. irritable. I, uh-oh, I have to go. Santiago, are you smoking in there? No. Why do I see smoke? That's steam. 
I'm in the shower. Guess who? NYPD, hands up! Ah! All right, Gina, we have to act soon. That cold medicine Diaz chugged, it was the non-drowsy kind. She's all over the place. Hey! Hey, 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 guess what? I got a new lead to ask my perv about as a drug dealer on State Street. Whoa! Why doesn't someone answer that phone? Get it, I'll get it. Hello? No, there's no Michael here. You have the wrong number. Goodbye. Uh, I'm Michael. That's a dumb name, but it's yours, and you should be proud of it because you are the greatest detective I've ever known. No doy, Diaz. No doy. Where is my file? She's so hopped up on that stuff, her brain's gonna blow. I'm gonna interrogate the perp. You keep Diaz occupied. I don't want to get near her germ face. Permission to lock her in a distant room? No, just distract her. Yes, that is what I will do. Rosa, come here. I've got to tell you something. It's a secret. OK, but I have a lot of stuff to do. It's a secret. Start by it's, a secret. Doing... it's a secret. Oh, Here it is. See? Let me out of here. Everything okay with Diaz? Yeah, she fell asleep five minutes after I locked her in, and she hasn't moved in the past 10 hours. She talks in her sleep. I'm gonna rip your head off. I'm gonna rip your damn head off, Grandma. Oh, Terra Bear, what if she sleeps forever? <laughs> oh, 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 look, Rosa! You look great, girl. I gotta get out of here, bye. You better not run, because I will catch you after I'm done crushing that perp you are next. I already interrogated the perp for you. You what? I got him to name his Giggle Pig supplier. It's all good. Now go home and get better. I could have done it myself. No, you couldn't have. You literally have been in a coma since yesterday. Now, I know you like to act like you don't need any help, but we all do. Look, I asked five dudes to spot me when I'm doing my squats. Terry paid me $20 to lock you up. No, I did not. But I took that cheddar and I made you this special Rosa's gonna make this called her bitch care package. Now's the time where you say thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your help. Wait, is that a smile I see? Possibly. My immune system is too weak to fight off my small muscles. Mini basketball. Oh my God, I love that. My whole problem with basketball was big ball, tiny hands. Tiny ball, problem solved. Oop me. Ready, ooping. One, two, three. Did that look as cool as it felt? How cool did it feel? Oop me. Ooping. I'm getting better. Yeah, you are. Guys, Captain Holt has no pants on. Um. What? He has no pants on is what? Here are the facts. At 11.55 a.m., Captain Holt walked past us holding a hot bowl of soup. At 12.03 p.m., I heard him yell. Ouch! Then, at 12.07, he called Gina into his office. She entered, holding nothing. One minute later, she left holding an opaque bag. Captain Holt's pants were in that bag. His knees are in the breeze. He's in his undies. That evidence is circumstantial. Oh, so you guys want visual confirmation? Not no. really. Done. Hey, Captain, I just need you to sign something at my desk real quick. Just leave it on the couch. Dismissed. OK. Sir, you're going to freak. Yo-Yo Ma is in the precinct, and he's giving out autographs. Yo-Yo Ma is on tour in Australia right now. How would you know that? I'm choking on a lozenge. I'm going to die. I got to drink. No, no, no. I swallowed it. Hey, I made you another bowl of soup since you spilled yours earlier, but you're gonna have to come over here to get it. All right, Barat, I'm sick of you wasting time. So yes, I spilled some minestrone on my pants and I'm sitting in my underwear. Happy? Yes! Ah. Sir, I need you to sign off on- Look at us. Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep, no story here. I need to write Marcus back fast. He's already freaked out by how long it takes me to text him back. Listen, Rosa. There's nothing I'd rather do in my life than write a sexy text to your boyfriend. But I think this is something you gotta do on your own. Why? You're so good at being lame and I'm not. Yeah. Look, I like him. I really like him. I don't wanna screw this crap up. That's what you should say. Just take that sentiment, remove the word crap, and then send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I sent it. He didn't write back, so he hates it. No, wait, look. Okay. Oh, okay, dot, dot, dot. It's happening. It's a shirtless pic. 
We did it. We did it. Thanks, Will. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Don't follow me. Things are about to get intense. Oh, makes sense. Ames. Gina, you got to see the Sasquatch. Was it everything you dreamt? It was the stuff drums are made of. Can you hold my eyes still till things stop spinning? OK, let's sit you up. There, easy does There. Oh, there you go. Now drink this entire glass of water. You're taking care of me. Just because I know you won't remember it. Mm -mm. Nope. You like me. Six drink Amy is your friend. And and she's gonna be very sick right now. Okay. Do I even weigh anything to you? No. It's like holding a couple of grapes. I think it's fair to say that no one in the history of America has been discriminated against more. Buddy. Yeah, that's my B, adrenaline talking. So you guys in? I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, wow. You sound like a real Terry. Why don't you just take your shirt off and make your pecs bounce around? Again, the adrenaline. Don't sue me. Leave it to the NYPD to screw up being hostages. I thought cops love to sit around on their fat asses all day and do nothing. That's it. Whoa! My ass is not fat! So I'm gonna go into that room, and I'm gonna get that lousy old geezer to admit on camera that he robbed those banks. He just died. What? Oh! I was trying to cook my oatmeal with a road flare, but it caught on fire. Why are you using a road flare? You said the kitchen was off limit. Yeah, this is your fault, Sarge. Give me that. I'm just holding a road flare, stepping on some oatmeal, just doing me. I can't believe that you, of all people, are my biggest problem today, Jeffords. Because he's injured. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Hi, I'm Jake's best friend, Charles. How are you? Pop quiz, what's Jake allergic to? Bees. And wasps. Got an even include wasps. Huh. Wasps, those aren't even real. There is no way we let Amy and the Sarge beat us. We sit here until we figure this thing out. Rosa, my mind is ready. OK. There's an island with 12 men. Oh, I'm so bored. I cannot do it. I can do this. One guy's slightly heavier. There's a seesaw. I got it. You use the seesaw to press down on their necks until Fatty confesses. Incorrect. Damn! And disturbing. Roger Peralta, nous voulons vous parler. Hey, what? Scully, what's going on? Roger Peralta est en état Roger Peralta is under arrest for possession of a controlled substance. Nous avons retrouvé et sans They found pills in his apartment. Jake, I don't know what he's talking about. I swear, I don't know how those pills got in my apartment. Wait, Jake, Scully, tell them we're cops. Tell them! New some of it. New some of it. Shoot. That means turnips. I, I said we were turnips. I got it. Don't worry. We are turnips. Nope, that was English. Yeah. Marcus, Detective Diaz, what a surprise. I didn't expect you for another nine and a half minutes. See, told you it was rude to be early. Well, let's cancel the entire evening and try again next year. <laughs> <laughs> she is hilarious. Whew, great idea. Take a breather. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic. The moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Are your bosoms tender? I'm going to pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses heightened? I think I might be pregnant, not bitten by a radioactive spider. <sighs> Kevin asked me about my sister. She just told me she's pregnant, and that made me think, I've been feeling run down lately. My stomach's been weird. I just did the math in my head, and I think I'm a little bit late. Late to, uh, oh, right, right, you're, um... What if I'm pregnant? Do I tell Marcus? What do I do with a baby? How do you take care of those things? Why are their heads so soft? Before you spiral anymore, you should take a pregnancy test. Yes, smart, immediately. Oh, immediately, immediately. Uh, very well, I'll figure out a way to get you out of here without arousing suspicion. Now I'm regretting blowing through my orchid material so quickly. Broken ribs and a million broken toes weren't enough for you? In retrospect, they were plenty, yes. The worst part is Olsen got away. That's the worst part? You could have died, man. I wasn't hurt that badly. The doctor said all my bleeding was internal. That's where the blood's supposed to be. Oh my god. Rose is wearing pink. 
Rose is wearing pink. Are we sure it's not a white shirt that's just been bloodied in a motorcycle crash? Well, maybe it wasn't her. Does she have a twin sister? If Rosa had a twin, she would have eaten her in the womb. Wait, hold it, stop. How come none of you teased her about it? It's Rosa, she's scary. You guys are unbelievable. I once wore a tie with a splash of purple. You guys called me Mr. Graves for two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graves, I forgot about Mr. Graves. If I wore a pink shirt, you'd tear me to shreds. Well, yeah, but you'd look like a My Little Pony with a gun. <laughs> Let me guess, your theater club is putting on grease and you're playing a pink lady. Nice. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at? If Boyle was wearing a pink shirt. I get it. That's hilarious. What's happening? Rose is the one wearing pink. And? It's gorgeous. Wish I could pull that off. Dream on, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Grapes. <laughs> Mr. Grapes! Mr. Grapes! Thing I wanted to say a does a you. Why doesn't your mouth work? Why doesn't your mouth work? Title of our sex tape. What? Your sex tape. What? No. <laughs> well, I can never unsee that. <clears throat> Hello, Raymond. How do you like my new office? 20th floor. Yes, I never thought I'd see you this high without a broom under you. Enough niceties. Have a seat. Look, there's the buyer. Or maybe he's just actually saying hi to the chef. Why isn't he making the handoff? Oh, crap. He saw us. Uh... Excuse me. Oh, hey. We were just looking for a place to, uh... Boink. Yep. Boink. That's my preferred term for it as well. Mm -hmm. I get it. Newly engaged kids. Enjoy. Thanks. Good. Good, 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 good. Kept our cover intact. Nice work. Quick professional thinking out there. Very quick. Very professional. Detective? Detective. Let's get back on the case. Oops. So how was the restaurant? Such a normal time. Why are you being weird? Amy and I kissed. What? To keep our cover from being blown, we didn't have a choice. Tell me everything! Charles, it was just a kiss, OK? It was for work. It was nothing. Yeah, who cares about a kiss? Call me if you grab each other's asses. Jake. There's a difference, Amy. No, Jake, he's looking at us. Well, this is happening. Huh? We are police colleagues. You're under arrest. This is a work event. So a lot of change around here, huh?